Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Find the Missing Number. In this tutorial we will learn how to find the missing number for number bonds to 50 and we will do this for subtraction questions. Let's have a look at our first example. We've got 50 minus something equals 23. So 50 minus something equals 23. Now previously, in the, previ well, in the last tutorial, what we did was we swapped the box, the missing number, with the number on the right hand side, and then we subtracted 50, 23 from 50. We're not going to do that this time. Okay, that is one method. We're now going to look at a slightly different method. Now what this question says is, 50 minus something equals 23. So basically on this side, what number added to 23 is going to give us 50. So we've got the number 23 and we have to get to 50. That's what it says. So what we're going to do is, first of all, I'm going to add 7 to it. If I add 7, what number do you think we get? We get 30, okay? 3 and 7 is 10, so we get to 30. Now from number 30, we need to get to number 50. So what we're going to do is, we're going to add 2, 20. Okay, actually I'm just going to cross out the last line, and I'm going to go back to the green. What do we have? We've got to 50. So we've got to our target of 50. What numbers have we added? Well, we've added this one, and this one. We've added 27. Okay, that is our answer. The missing number is 27. Now you're probably thinking this is a slightly longer method than the previous tutorial. However, if you practice at this, this will become your method of choice. Because when you do larger uh, questions with larger numbers, maybe three digits, maybe even four digits, this method is far better, you can get great speed on this and greater accuracy, but the most important thing is that you can do this in your head, mental arithmetic. I'm showing you all the workings over a period of time, you won't need to do the workings, you'll be able to do these in your head. Now let's have a look at our second example. This time we've got 50 minus something equals 38. 50 minus something equals 38. Now again, the same principle applies. What number added to 38 is going to make it equal to 50? So we start with 38. Now my first objective is to get the 8 to equal 0. So I'm going to add 2. If I add 2, this then becomes 40. So now we're on 40, what number do we have to add to get to 50? Well, that's simple, we need to add 10. So what do these two numbers add to make? Well, they make 50. So that is what we wanted. We wanted to get to 50. What numbers have we added? Now we don't even need to add these, we simply collate them. There's 110 and there's two units, 12. That is our answer. 12 is the missing number. 50 minus 12 equals 38. So that is how we find the missing number for number bonds to 50 for subtraction questions.